Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own protein filled deep conditioner for your hair. Now I am African American and I am transitioning from relaxed to natural, but this will work for every, anyone because it has a lot of protein in it. Now protein is a tricky thing. If you use too much, if you have too much protein, your hair will be able, your hair will be breaking and it will be brittle. If you have too little protein, your hair will be breaking and it will be brittle. So you need to balance out protein with moisture by using a moisturizer every day at the end of your hair and greasing your scalp about two times a week or three times. Now these these deep conditioners run very pricey at salons but you can get it at home for very cheap and it's just as good because it's just as protein filled as anything else so it's no better no worse. It could even be better depending on how you make it and, and with what ingredients you make it with. So the ingredients that you're going to need to make it is a knife, a banana, an egg, your favorite moisturizer, and a potato smasher. Your favorite hair moisturizer. This could be used olive oil, any essential oil you want. I chose raw shea butter, refined. And this is just the raw shea butter in a, a container, a squeeze out pump. My cousins had given me this initially and I went out and bought this. So, let's get started. I already have a smashed banana. You just need this banana and to cut it up with a knife. Now, if you're younger than, I guess, 12 or 13, you should probably consult your parents for help. You just cut the banana finely or thin. Or thin. Even if you want to cut it a little thicker, it'll still it's still a mushy consistency when you're done. It should be about this consistency. See? After that, you want to crack an egg in there. I'm using a jumbo egg, so I might find two yolks in there. I'm hoping not. I don't bought jumbo eggs this time, and I never really realized how jumbo eggs really were until she bought them. She used to buy large ones, but not the jumbo ones. I poured some of the yolk into the I poured some of the yolk into the banana. I mean the whites, most of the whites into the banana. See that little it's like a little watery consistency around it. Only a little bit though, because I'm more about yolk. I don't want it to get get too watery. I like my deep conditioner stick. Now, when you're doing a deep conditioner with egg, please guys don't go into the dryer because you'll fry eggs in your hair. So after them Beating the yolk. Huh? Not you, I'm talking to my camera. After you're done beating the yolk, that was my brother, guys, sorry. After you're done beating the yolk, you pour it into the banana. And it should look like this. Then you mix it around. And then, after that, you take your favorite moisturizer, hair moisturizer, not skin moisturizer. You finger up some of your moisturizer, you drop it in here. Yeah. Like that. Bottom piece and everything? Yeah. And then you mix it around. I'm not eating it, Junior. You make it. For my hair. I'm sorry for all the distraction, guys, but my brother thinks this is gross. He has dreadlocks, so he does not think that this is necessary, but I do. So anyway, that is it. That's And then, so basically you rinse your hair first and then you put it in there. You leave it in there for, I'd say about 30 minutes. Please don't go outside in the heat if you don't want your, your, um, your egg to be cooked. So basically you just wet your hair or you can wash it. I'd rather wet mine. Then I put it in there. Some people say that it won't penetrate if your hair isn't completely clean, but I don't think that. If you wash your hair with hot water, it'll penetrate the follicle. So, and then you just put it in your hair and that's it.
when you leave it there for 30 minutes and you rinse it out, you condition your hair. Condition, not deep condition. And then you, or you shampoo first, then you condition. Yeah, that's pretty much it.